I hope that it will not only inspire you, but also show you practical ways of hearing the voice of God and applying it that you would hear through the power of the Holy Spirit. So I say again today, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We can listen to His word. We can hear Him speak when we fellowship more with the Holy Spirit. when we actually try to listen. When we focus our hearts to Him. And when we believe that He is indeed talking to you. So brothers and sisters, do you hear God's voice? Hallelujah. Let's all stand and worship Him. As the worship team comes, we'll actually do this right now. I did not plan on this, but. Hallelujah. You don't really need, when you're praying, you don't really. It's always funny because everybody always prays, closing their eyes, looking down. Others would pray, looking up. The only reason why we close our eyes is hopefully that we could concentrate on our Lord. Because when we see things in the natural, it distracts us. So right now, may I ask all of you here and those listening to just close your eyes. Hallelujah. And just picture Jesus right there in front of you. upon you that you need to be paying more attention to something or someone. Just listen and receive. Whatever it is that the Lord is laying upon your heart right now, He will empower you to allow that thing to pass. If it is only for your benefit. You know that it's His voice because it doesn't contradict what He says in His Word. You know that it's His voice because it's for your good and a blessing for others as well. You know that it's His voice because it does not condemn you. If it's any of those other things, tune them out. That's the enemy. If you're thinking right now that you're not good enough to hear from Him, Jesus already said, You are my child. 
made righteous in me. So just listen to him right now. You may have had some prayers that you offered before. Maybe years have passed since you said these prayers. The Lord is giving you the timing now. Maybe you have dreams that you thought were dead. The Lord is rejuvenating that today. Maybe you thought that He could never listen to you. Brothers and sisters, He hears every tear shed, every whimper. He even knows every thought. He hears your prayers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me share with you how powerful God's word is. Earlier this month, the Lord impressed upon me somebody was a young male was going to take his own life. It was not anyone in this church body or anyone who's listening. It was somebody who was related to those who are part of this church body. He showed me, this is the second time he did this, he showed me somebody trying to hang himself. So I prayed. We prayed. I, our brothers and sisters agreed in prayer that this person would not do what he was intending to do. Because God is good and, and He loves this child even though He doesn't know Him yet. Later on, this just last week, I heard about this young man who was related to somebody who listens to these words, to this church, Oasis of Grace. Unfortunately, this young man passed away. He did what the enemy wanted him to do. But it was that same week when he tried to do it the first time and he could not do it. That was when we were praying. That was when we were interceding. That was when the Lord was speaking to us to pray over this young man who is so far from us that we don't even know his own name, his name. That's how the Lord works. He wants us to intercede for each other, for those family members or friends or even people that we don't know As a believer, the Holy Spirit is in us right now. And as a believer, we continue to seek His face, to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And as a believer, the Holy Spirit empowered us to call things, to break things that are not of Him. Father, right now, Lord, I just declare your power over this man and woman of God. We know, Lord, that each and every one of us here, Lord God, has you as our Lord and Savior. We know, Lord, that we are, the Holy Spirit is dwelling in us right now. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. But Father, today, Lord God, as you said in your word, we ought to seek you always. We ought to pray that we will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit every single day. So Father, right now, Lord, I declare your anointing, your gift of the power of the Holy Spirit, your fruits, Lord God, be manifest in my brothers and sisters right here, right now, Father God. Shama suko para sikira Yes, Lord. We just surrender ourselves right now. Be filled. Have 
Have your way, Father. Have your way. As we go into worship, the Lord will continue to work in you right now. I ask that you would come up front, worship Him, or you can stay where you are if you're, you're not comfortable. But please join me here up front as we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Sometimes I fail, still your words. 